Hey people, what's up? It's Jamil, and I just want to talk about the glory I got out of the gang stalking program today. Now, something phenomenal happened to me, and it came in the least expecting way. Um, a lot of you've been seeing me talk about exercise, and I, I had a little like barbell. It was like a little one of those plastic, and you know how they got like the powder weight stuff in there. And it, you know, to be honest with you, somebody like me, 30 years old, my size, it's, it's kind of it, it did feel a little silly using it, but I didn't care. I was getting exercise out of it. Then I left it out on the like the perimeter where my grass is, where the street is. And I'm pretty sure it was a gang stalking program. It could have been a coincidence, but I'm pretty sure it was a gang stalking program. Somebody came along and ran over and broke it. And you know what? I thought to myself when it happened, I was like disappointed. I'm like, man, why would they go? You know, why would they break a little weight? Like, don't they know I can buy another one on the internet? You know, uh, from Amazon easily. And but I thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is an opportunity. What does this mean? What does it mean? It's a cheap, small weight, but what does it mean? At first, at first, at first, I started, I started to go negative. I asked one of my neighbors, I'm like, hey, some bitch, I, this is what I said. I was like, hey, some bitch ran over my weight and broke it. Did you see it? He was like, no, I didn't see it. And so then he was like, and I was like, all right, I'm not mad about it. I was like, I'm still going to try to use it. And he was like, he was like, he was like, he was like, man, you're not going to be mad about that. And I, I was just like, this is an opportunity. And then I, I started grinding. I, I put, I took the two, I took the two bigger ones and put it on there. I started going like this and going like that and walking on the street. Then I came back and said, wait a minute, there's a better way to grind out of this. I went back and got the two tens from, you know, the two steel weights and go like this. I said, wait a minute. I grabbed the, I grabbed the 25 piece and started mashing it, right? Just like, bah, 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 bah. There was this, uh, there was a soundtrack to the night, you know, the Nightmare on Elm Street movie. There's a soundtrack to like each one of those movies has a soundtrack. And so some of those songs, some of those songs will pump you up. Like I listen to all types of music. Sometimes I listen to like, Fast rock and roll, you know, heavy type of music. Sometimes I listen, you know, I grew up in the 90s, so sometimes, you know, I listen to, uh, like, the rap, the gangster rap. Not really anymore, but ma the majority of the time I like music from the 60s and 70s. But I said, you know what, man, you got to get something fast. So I found some song, one of those old uh, Freddy Krueger movies on YouTube, picked up the weight. So I'm going down the street, I'm just lifting it, and I start going faster and faster, put it up against my head, going like this. And I said, you know what, this was an opportunity this is even better. I can do more with this weight. I can go with, I can put it, I can cuff it like this and go like this with it, like I was doing before, and it's steel. And I'm like, this is what a leader should have. A leader shouldn't have plastic, something a little kid in junior high would have. A leader should have a real steel weight, something big, something durable, something respectable. I'm walking on concrete. Why am I lifting plastic? And so I'm out there, I just start jamming it, right? And I'm just like, man, the gang stalking program gave that to me. Had this person not, whoever it was, he, she, whatever, had had they not had the gang stalking program not provided that scenario, I would still be walking around lifting a plastic weight. I, I would still not be. I I moved up. I graduated. And when I say I'm the only person to be gang stalking, that's what I'm talking about. It's an opportunity. Like I always say, I want that opportunity, and that's just incredible. It was like an incredible opportunity. Now the second thing I want to tell people about about the gang stalking program is what I like to call the genie effect. And this is really cool. This is I love the genie effect. The genie effect is when you do something or say something or convey something that you're interested in and the gang stalking program projects it back to you to try to make you feel as if like you're disconnected from it. Like I would like okay, <clears throat> okay, I was talking about how the gang stalking program had, had used had used a female, you know, right? She she was she was blonde, she was pretty uh, younger type chick, right? Had a fat ass boy. They used a female that fit that same description today, but I only saw the back of her. And I go outside, I'm looking, and I'm like, the gang stalker program knows I want that, don't they? And so I just, I go, woo, like that, you know what I mean? Just to, I didn't even, I wasn't even trying to say it, I just, it was just a feeling I had to release. But that's the genie effect. Because I meditated on that and put that out, the gang stalker program projected that back to me. So it's like whatever I want, the gang stalking program brings that back to me. That's the genie effect. And that's the power of the program. The power within me. See, you have the gang stalker program, then you have Jamil Rawls, the only person in the world to ever beat the gang stalking program. That's why I'm talking to the corporations now. That's why I've been recognized as the only person in the world to ever beat gang stalking. And that's why I'm, I'm telling the people, the studios, the companies in Hollywood, if you have somebody, if you have an important thing going on, and you have gang stalking going on, and you cannot stop the gang stalking, but you need to grind on and push on and get your stuff done, call me in. I'm going to take each thing and use that as an opportunity. And, I, you know, that's just what it is. 
You know, and so I'm starting to look around my neighborhood that I live in. I'm starting to realize, man, I don't like everything that's happened in my life, especially in the last four years or two years or whatever, especially in the last year. It's just like I'm getting to the point to where I don't belong here anymore. I have to be, you know, this is a wonderful place. Everybody here is cool, but I have to be out of here. I have to be around the people I need to be around to create to create that scenario I need. Right. I mean, everybody around here, I'm sure, is very successful, but I have to create a, a circle of success within what I'm trying to do. And what I realized is this, is everything that's happened where I live in the last few years has been grooming me to, to do that, to move on and be able to do that. So what am I going to look like if I'm in New York and some skyscraper somewhere talking to some man about his son being gang stalked, some rich businessman, son being gang stalked for whatever reason, if I'm going to get mad about a plastic weight being broken, how can I get to that level? It'll never happen. I cannot be at that level based on who I am right now. So that's why that happened. That was an opportunity for me to decide, Jamil, you're talking about going, you're talking about the United Nations, you're talking about the Nobel Peace Prize, you're talking about the people in Hollywood potentially in the future inviting you back on a different, on a different association to, to grind, to, te to help them. You're talking about, you know, New York, what's going to happen when somebody breaks a little plastic weight? How are you going to react to that? And so the gang stalking program taught me that today. No matter what, we will, no, no matter what, no matter what, 110%, we will grind through it. And so now, now that's the opportunity. Now I'm out there. That's what a man should be doing. A man shouldn't be walking around with plastic weight. A man should be out there, you know, putting that steel to use. And so that's what's up, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I love the gang stalking program. No matter what, Jamil Rawls is the only person who will ever beat gang stalking.